Hey folks, I am starting to shoot the videos to kind of document the uh, Russ and Tory Taft Bell Buckle weekend that I went on last week with my buddy Dave. Uh, we took a few days to, to well, it was a three day trip. Went down on Friday, um, had the uh, had events on Saturday and, and uh, Sunday, and then came on back Sunday night. Um, so this this will this series of uh, videos will different from what I usually do. It'll probably be a little bit more um, of a vlog, life vlog, mixed in with with music collecting. Um, I will tell you that uh, there were, on the trip, there were a couple of occasions uh, where I picked up music. So the music, the music collecting breakdown for this weekend will be a stop at a Christian bookstore in Nashville on the way to uh, Bell Buckle. Uh, there will be a few albums that I picked up at a antique shop in Bell Buckle. There will be uh, some CDs and one really big album <laughs> that I picked up at the, uh, at the concerts. And then there will be a stop, uh, a really nice uh, pickup, some really nice pickups that I made at Grimey's which is a music shop in Nashville on the way back. So let's let's start talking about the 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 weekend. Great weekend. Uh, got up Friday morning, packed real quick. Dave picked me up around noon and we headed off for Nashville. Uh, once we got to Nashville, uh, we made a quick stop at a at a um, coffee shop. Um, wasn't a big stop for me because I don't drink coffee. My my buddy Dave's a coffee connoisseur, though, and so we stopped and uh, did see a statue uh, sitting in a window. Or not a window, more of a, I don't know what you would call it, or kind of a recessed section. I thought it looked like Batman from a distance. I'll put a, I'll try to put a picture in here and you can tell me what you think. Maybe because I'm such a Batman nut, I'm just predisposed to see Batman. But uh, it looked like Batman to me. So... Anyway, we made this this stop at a coffee shop. Uh, it was kind of funny because for some reason my uh, leg cramped. I got <laughs> for several minutes we had to stand by the truck while I tried to get my hamstring to loosen up a little bit, <laughs> and then I slow walked <laughs> from the truck to the coffee shop. It was kind of comical. Um, after that stop, we ended up uh, in a different spot in Nashville where uh, there's a drum store. Um, I can't remember the name, but I'll try to, I know Dave took a picture, so I'll try to put that up in here as well. It was an amazing shop. I mean, uh, I don't play drums. My buddy Dave is a percussionist, so he was he was in heaven. But there were, uh, I mean, this shop was amazing. I didn't know that they had shops uh, that big devoted to just percussion because there wasn't anything else in the store, um, just percussion. Um, so we went there, and then we stopped by a burger joint that uh, was kind of upscale. Um, but it was good. It was good. And then we went by a uh, Christian bookstore. 
it was very interesting. It almost, well, going to Bell Buckle can feel kind of like a time warp too, but uh, this this shop was something else. It it uh, when you walk in the bookstore, it was well. You all right? All right. So when we went into the bookstore, um, it felt like a it felt like a time warp. I mean, it was like walking to a Christian bookstore, say, like in the late 70s, early 80s. Um, if I had had some of those green coupons that they used to have on the back of records, uh, buy buy four, get one free, <laughs> I would have thought, would have felt like they would have redeemed them because it was, it was amazing how walking into that shop just... You know, I was even looking for a newsstand so I could see if they had any uh, issues of CCM and Evans Metal for sale. Um, but then the weird thing happened, uh, the music selection. Now, I immediately started looking for a, uh, a rack of discounted music because a lot of times Christian bookstores used to, they would take at least uh, one CD or one cassette back in the day and put a demo sticker on it and and you could listen to stuff while you were in the store and eventually they would go through their demos and pull stuff and put them out for sale so I thought well I know it's 2017 but <laughs> hey let's give it a try maybe it'll pan out. So I found a discounted section of music and that's where all of this came from. Uh, and so most of the, the CDs here cost a couple bucks. I didn't spend a whole lot there. Um, and But I kind of stepped out of my comfort zone. Now m music wise uh, I am more of a Tradition, when it comes to heavy metal especially, I'm more of a traditional heavy metal kind of guy. Some of the more modern bands, um, I'm warming up to them a little bit, I guess. Um, part of that might have been when I picked up, from when I picked up uh, Demon Hunters, uh, The World is a Thorn, several years ago. Because it was, that was definitely not, not a style that I am accustomed to, but I liked it. I love that album, in fact. Great album. And I like their new stuff. So, uh, another band that I've been trying is War of Ages, and I kind of like their stuff as well. And they happen to have one of their albums. This is uh, Supreme Chaos. War of Ages, Supreme Chaos. It's uh, 2016, 2000, I'm sorry, 2014 uh, album. I believe War of Ages is getting ready to put out a new album in early December. So, this is what the the album looks like on, or the CD looks like on the inside. Let me peel this uh, sticker off so you can see the back. Kind of funny. The uh, the name of the store is Twenty First Century Christian, <laughs> but yet you you feel like you need to get into a DeLorean to get there. <laughs> so, all right. So that's War of Ages, uh, Supreme Chaos. I have heard a couple of the tracks off here, and um, I think I'm going to like that. This next album is a um, is a stretch for me, but I thought, well, maybe they'll be along the lines of War of Ages, um, and that's a, this group uh, called Those Who Fear. The album is called Unholy Anger. They are also on Phase Down Records. And this is a 2013 release. So. 
so we'll give this band a shot. Then I found another one uh, that's kind of in the same vein, I would suppose. It made it just kind of I don't know, I found it amusing to, to be in this shop, this old Christian bookstore, and buy an album that uh, is out on nuclear, nuclear, all right, Dale, let's try it, English, English, Whew, man, it's one, I'm going to be one of those kind of days, all right, so I was just amused that uh, I was going to be buying an album, a CD in this shop, on nuclear, 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 nuclear blast records for today. Wake. Um, don't know much about this band. Again, this is kind of a we're going to kind of walk down that kind of me modern metal pathway and see how it, see how it sounds so um, now this now we're going to step back to more just hard rock uh, most of you are probably familiar with a band called skillet this is invincible this brings back memories uh, that's what I always look for <laughs> when I went into Christian bookstores because they had put these, put demo on them and then uh, put them out for sale. Well, that's not going to come off. Let me pull the, I want you to get a good look at the cover. This will probably be less heavy than the other three and more melodic, which is getting probably a little closer to my wheelhouse as far as music. But, um, uh, alright, that'll come off so I can show you the back. So... Now, Skillet in the past, I probably steered away from just because they kind of came up in the 90s, and I think I have an allergy to 90s rock. <laughs> and uh, but I think they they they've changed their sound some, so I think uh, I you know I have good feelings about this album. Hopefully they'll they'll be met. My expectations will be met. All right, so this next album, I don't know why they stuck demo on the front. It's not open. <laughs> okay, but it is Israel and New Breed covered. This is more of a black gospel album. Um, I became, I think the guy's full name is Israel Hot Houghton. I, if I'm pronouncing it wrong and someone knows otherwise, let me know in the comments. But I believe his name's Israel Houghton. I, uh, a couple weeks ago, I showed a CD by Sheila E. And he, he did the vocals on it. Uh, did vocals on a song called uh, Jesus Children of America which is a St old Stevie Wonder tune. And I really liked it, and so when I saw this for a couple bucks, I just grabbed it. Give them a, give them a shot. Let's see if this will come off so I can show you the pic this picture on the back cover. So, and then I found an old school I guess this guy is considered CCM, Brian Duncan, the Neo Soul Band, Music City Live. Love Brian Duncan. Brian, Brian is old school CCM. He uh, came up in the Christian rock band, uh, Sweet Comfort Band, and 
from there went on to have a very lengthy solo career. Um, a lot of great tunes on this. Um, there is a metal connection though. Uh, I'll show you the inside. But this guy right here, who played bass on one of the tunes, is Timothy Gaines of Striper. I know Farley will be glad to, to know that, being the huge Striper fan that he is. Um, yeah, very, very nice pickup. So that was what I picked up at the Christian bookstore. So from there, Dave, I, Dave and I left uh, Nashville and drove down to uh, Murfreesboro where we stopped and picked up some groceries to, to kind of snack on because we were staying in, a, in an Airbnb in uh, Bell Buckle. And... So it didn't take long for Murfreesboro to get the bell buckle and uh, quaint, quaint little town. I mean, just very cool. We uh, you can walk from one end of Bell Buckle to the other in about fifteen minutes, fifteen twenty minutes. I mean, it, it's nothing. It's really nothing to get from one side to the other. We were we were kind of amused because you you know he's in Lexington I'm in Louisville big cities and you go down there and uh, we walked from our Airbnb to the downtown which was like two blocks and when we got to the church the Baptist church there was was it, or the house by the Baptist church I can't remember but it, anyway. Somebody had left their bike on the sidewalk. <laughs> and uh, in Louisville, you can't even... You can have your bike chained and someone will still try to steal it. But here, you could have a bike laying on the sidewalk. And it's and it was there practically the whole weekend. Um, so we took a walk past the shops. Um, and then walked over to we just wanted to get a look at the uh, the banquet hall so uh, we did that and on the way back we stopped at a cafe Friday night decided to go ahead and get a bite to eat and um, we, so we did we went into the uh, Bell Buckle Cafe and, and it's an amazing place it has a very high ceiling and and the ceilings have got these, I don't know, it's, I guess it would look a little like my ceiling, except that all of the panels would be like huge business cards all over the place. And uh, it was quite, quite a nice place and had, had just great food. And I think Friday night, we also met a, our waitress, her name was Shania, she was such a sweetheart, talked to us, um, great conversation, I was thinking then that if they ever do a Bell Buckle the movie, um, oh great, now I'm not going to remember the actress name that I thought that, that kind of reminded me of her, um. Oh, the young lady that played uh, Gwen Stacy in the last Spider-Man movie. Um, anyway, I thought this young lady, I, I don't know if she looked like her so much, just had kind of that easy charm, just sweet. Um, yeah, but I can't remember this actress's name, so... Maybe I'll either edit it out or I'll, this part out, or I'll edit a picture of the actress in. And um, but uh, yeah, it was a good time. 
Friday night, uh, we went, uh, left the cafe and we went walking some more and heard, a. we heard some drums in the distance, sounded like a high school halftime show. And then we went back to the house and, and called it a night. And since we're 20 minutes into this video, I'm going to call this part one and, um, I, I have no idea how many parts this video is going to have because there's some stuff I need to, I want want to get into over the course of the next couple videos. So, um, this is part one of the, the Russ and Tory Taft Bell Buckle Weekend video. Hope you're having a good weekend and I'll see you soon.